guys, I just got the Samsung Google Chromebook and wanted to share with you my thoughts on this device. For $249, you get a netbook which weighs 2.4 pounds, which is less than a MacBook Air. It's sleekly designed. The battery life is 6 to 7 hours on one charge. Comes with stereo speakers. One is under here and one is under here. It has a nice centered trackpad, which is very responsive. Chiclet keys, which are spaced out perfectly and comparable to that of a MacBook Air. The screen itself is capable of 720p HD video, which is quite nice. And one of the things that will startle you at first is when you open the device, it boots up in 10 seconds, which is similar to an Ultrabook. Um, it you know, within 10 seconds it brings you to a login screen, you type in your credentials, and then it brings you to the desktop, which is right here. On the desktop, on the bottom right corner, you have uh, your settings, the time, um, and by tapping the, this little icon right here, it brings you to, you know, where uh, you can pick from different Wi-Fi networks, enable or disable Bluetooth, and then on the bottom left corner, you have your different apps and these apps work as shortcuts to different web pages so if you tap Facebook it brings you to facebook.com and as you can see uh, you can scroll pretty well on this device it's fairly responsive considering how graphics heavy Facebook is this is doing quite well and then if you tap or click a different app it just creates a new tab in Chrome. So this is Google Drive and speaking of Google Drive when you buy this device you get 100 gigabytes of free space on Google Drive. If you've never used Google Drive it's an online hard drive essentially that allows you to save anything you want. You could save uh, songs, videos, different files and documents, uh, whatever you like to access from uh, almost any computer that has internet access. And Another thing you'll be using Google Drive for is, let's say you click Google Docs. Google Docs is essentially uh, Google's version of Microsoft Word. So if you go in here and you start typing gibberish, it says saving right up here, and then all changes saved in Drive. So as you create content, it will save it automatically to Google Drive, so you can access it from wherever you like. You don't need to worry about remembering to save it. It does it for you. It's very convenient. For me, as you know, I blog a lot, so having this is a, a godsend, and it allows me to also save short stories, my novel I'm working on, and it's also going to be very useful once the semester starts for school, because if you want to take notes in class, uh, it'll save everything in there. If you want to take notes at work, you'll be able to do it as well. And let's say you work in a job that, you know, you do more than just words. You like to uh, use Excel. Well, if you click Google Sheets, it pulls up their version of Excel. Um, you can do all sorts of functions. You can do uh, different fonts and colors. Uh, basically, anything you can do in Excel, you can do in here. And the same applies to Google Slides. If you tap that, that'll pull up their version of it, which is essentially PowerPoint. And you can create a presentation and email it to whoever you like. The good thing about all these documents are, or is, that they are compatible with um, Microsoft Office. So whether you're using a Mac or you're using a Windows based machine, anything you create or edit in Google's um, applications can be viewed and edited in the Microsoft uh, Office and vice versa. So if you create something in a Microsoft uh, you know, program but you want to view it in here and edit it in here, you can do so. So what this device is really good for is things of this nature creating, editing documents, as well as going online and viewing things. You can view YouTube videos, and you can, you can go to Amazon Instant Video to watch videos there too. And you can use Pandora, you can use Amazon Cloud Player, um, etc. The video on YouTube is pretty good. Um, you know, let's say you just tap this and open that up. It plays right away. The video quality is quite good and uh, it looks good. The only thing that doesn't work is Netflix. For whatever reason, Netflix um, is not compatible with this device just yet. 
So that's something to keep in mind if that's one of your main reasons for buying this. If you're looking to view stuff on Netflix, it's just not going to work right now. They're working on fixing it, but um, it may take a month or so for that to happen. If you want to view more apps, you can go to the Chrome Web Store, and they have a variety of things for you to choose from, including you know, business apps, entertainment, games, lifestyle, etc. Now, I have played a couple games on here, Angry Birds and Cut the Rope. They do not work out too well. They lag quite a bit. So, if you're looking to play games, uh, this isn't the device for you. However, if you're just looking to do basic things, like I said, like go online and edit documents, access your email, then this is perfect. Um, I will be continuing to use my Kindle Fire HD for video, uh, audiobooks, and all of the content uh, that Amazon provides. But I'm getting rid of my iPad and using this for work and school and for writing and blogging. So I hope you enjoyed my review. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. And I look forward to connecting with you on my blog. Have a great day.